Welcome to PO class. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on um, the solving basic arithmetic using Microsoft Excel, basic functions and formulas using Microsoft Excel. Recall that the, uh, the basic arithmetic that we all know is the addition, the subtraction, multiplication, division, and exponent. Exponent is about added one that I did. The basic one addition, subtraction, multiplication, and what? Division. So, and the symbols are there, plus, minus, asterisk, and backward slash. The exponent is, I'll show you how to get that. For you to get your asterisk, I'll show you that. So, let's look at this uh, data. Here you can see the names of customers, the product price, the board, the quantity of each product they purchased. So I'm going to clear this content first of all, so that we can clear contents. Okay. So here now I want to get the total for this particular customer G. And for me to get the total for customer G, I need to multiply the product price times what the quantity now there's something you need to observe between the difference between the functions and the formula ordinary formula here um you see the difference i'll show you the difference first of all the basic thing you need to know in solving arithmetic using microsoft Excel is the equality sign without the equality sign you're not going to get the actual value rather you get the thing as a number now let's as you want to say um five times Five, enter you're going to get it as a number five times five okay but when you use the equality sign you get this as a as a as a, as a formula and you obtain an answer so let's use five okay sorry let's use equality sign equals to five times five enter you see you get 25 that shows that um it is a formula and not just ordinary it is a function not just ordinary number so let's look at this we want to multiply the product price and the quantity in case you're using a keyboard that does not have uh, the number keys where you see both the multiplication backward slash and so on we're going to i'm going to show you how you can use the quarter keyboard uh, the quarter keyboard without a number key to get your asterisk so your multiplication and division and so on so what we're going to do here we're going to write in a cost sign uh you can decide to say 60 times 45 enter okay you see that so that when i drag this down you're going to see 2700 everywhere here to show that it is not a function rather it's just a formula now if i drag it down you see 2700, 2700. that shows that this is just a formula and not a function a function we we, we label this uh, column d with that specific word formula. Now let's clear this content so that you see the difference. Clear content. Now let's use a function now equals to, then I'll say product. Remember, multiplication is the same thing as product. Multiplies all the numbers given as arguments. Now I'll click on product. That means the first cell multiplied by the second cell. That is first cell, comma, second cell. So the first cell here is B2. Click on B2, hit my comma. I'm going to use the on-screen keyboard. Then hit the second cell. Then close the word bracket or parenthesis using shift zero and hit on what enter you can see that 2700 now with this now i can go to this come to this square this square shape here and get a cross sign and drag it down so that i can get the values for other customer without imputing any function again you can see that everything comes up so this is the answer for my uh for this for the total for this customer so okay so let's get the addition let's say we want to add the price and the quantity. We want to see how we can add price and quantity using function. So to do this, all I need to do is to hit my equality sign equals to the two cells I want to add, price and quantity. Pro, uh, okay, I'm going to use a function, not a formula. So I'm going to do sum. Sum. Okay, sorry. Sum. You can see that sums all the numbers click on it the first cell 60 then comma second cell then close the word parenthesis or the bracket and hit on what enter you can see that we've taken the sum 
Now you click on come to this box and take it down, drag it down. Once you drag it down, you get the values for other customers, this song. Okay, you can see that. So I'm going to label it another color. I'm going to give it another color so that you can see the difference. All right. So let's talk about subtraction. Subtraction is sent to hit your quality sign. Okay, now if you don't know the function for that, all you need to do is to go to function. You see function here. Click on function. You tell them what you want to do. Subtract. And hit on enter. Now it's going to tell you I am sub. You can see that that is the function for that. We turn the difference of two complex number. Okay. Okay, let's go straight here. We'll go click on equals to. So have i am sub so i am sub click on it the first cell which is price minus quantity first cell comma second cell close the parenthesis or bracket and hit on what enter you can see that 60 minus 45 is what 15. so the same thing goes there you come here come to this that, uh, small square and select it and drag it down all other answer comes up you can see that even the negative values also comes up so you can get that okay so let's talk about division how can we divide now i want to look at division in this case uh, uh we have to take um the total divided by the quantity so that we know the actual price total divided by quantity so here i'm going to have equals to we check again with division Return the quotient, I am div. Return the quotient of two complex number. So this is the function for um, this, I am div. I am div. So the first one we want is what? Total divided by total comma uh quantity so that we can get this product value product prices here so close the parenthesis close it and we'll hit on enter you can see that 60. uh drag it down you can see compare these values with the product price you can see it's the same thing so you compare these values with this, you can see that is the same thing. So that is how you do your division. Now recall that I said for you to get the multiplication symbol, like I have five times shift eight. Can you see that? Shift eight times nine. You can see that that's how you get your multiplication. That is equals equal five shift eight nine enter you get your answer you can see that now let's look at exponent let's as you want to get the exponent exponent so we want to get the exponent of um the exponent of um so let's say we want to get quantity quantity square so the square of quantity we want to quantity square okay to, okay now i want to take the exponent which is we want to take this um, quantity square we want to take the square of the quantity so we are going to have using a function we have uh using a formula we have equals to the number 45 okay not a cell you type the number not the cell 45 now to get the exponent we have shift 6 shift 6 exponent what 2 if it's 2 we're interested you would say enter that is the square so if it's 3 let's say we have a uh, equals to uh the, that number is 32 32 shift exponent maybe one exponent three click on exponent three and hit enter so now what about if you want to if you want to um sorry. if you want to use the function all you need to do is to come up here click on your equal sign 
now remember exponent is just like saying power you click on power so power the number then the power for uh, the cell comma the power the power interested is what two so you close the words parenthesis and hit on what enter you can see that so you take you come to this square uh, square here and drag it what down you get your value these are the squares of these remember that four square is 16 8 squared is 64 so that's how basically how uh, run the basic arithmetic in what in microsoft excel so if you have any question or you're new to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that when we post awesome videos on how to work with excel you will be among the first to be notified in our next video we're going to be talking about how to mesh cells how to unmesh cells how to impute extra column and how to impute extra rows that will be in our next video and our upper video after that we'll be talking about how to create a form for data entry and so on and so forth so do want to subscribe to this channel ask your question in the comment section if there's any video that you want us to make also drop it down in the comment section and we'll do well to get back to you as soon as possible and also send us your assignments in uh, in our mail and we'll do well to answer that anything about data analysis data analyst business analyst and data science thank you